Jonah here, back once again for a beer 52 unboxing video. <laughs> and here it is. Came the other day um, and I was in, which was uh, cool. Um, yeah, the Yodel guy doesn't hang about, but at least I got this set of beers. Uh, the last one oh, was absolutely crazy. Anyway, um, if you haven't seen one of these videos before, it's me unboxing um, my beer subscription from Beer 52, and I'm going to give you some, yeah, some of the free stuff that they send to me. So usually some bog off deals and weird stuff. And hey, we'll see what we get in this one. Here is my uh, Rolson knife. Um, I've actually sharpened this up, but um, it's pretty good. And it is like butter. Butter scraped across a piece of bread. Put that down. And the first thing we should probably do is get the magazine out, which is in its own little compartment. Let me show you. I've done this before, but the way they package these beers is quite cool. See, you've got your beers and your other bits and bobs in this kind of flap there. Oh, we've got a golden, golden ticket as well. We'll look at that in a minute. But down here, and if you can see, there's a little compartment, and that is where the magazine sits, which is this one, uh, Celtic Nations this time, and next month, Angels of the North. So, magazine, all the goodness, but we have some free stuff, which is always good. So what have we got? Some sort of golf holiday thing, play more golf, that says. Um, make one year half, or what's that say? 12 month membership, etc., etc. If you want to have a look, why not pause this video, click on that thing, that QR code, you probably get some free stuff. We've had this one before. We've got some sort of offer from uh, uh, these guys, which is called tailored or tails.com. But for you guys, you want to get this. Um, tell us about your dog. Have some tailor made kibble, and the code is tailored. 493. Please use and abuse these things. I don't have a dog, so why don't you make use of the kibble? Which is dog food stuff, I don't know. Okay, the other thing is you have found the golden ticket or two, three, whatever. So if you ever fancied having um yeah, this entitles your friend to receive a completely free case of beer. So if you guys want to get a case of beer purely for free, there's a code there. If that one doesn't work, try that one. If that doesn't work, try that one. Pause the video and then put those codes in. There we go. If, um, if it focuses, can you do that? Yeah, there we go. Free beers on me to you guys. So, like I say, if you want to try and get free beers, go for it because I'm probably not going to be using them. So, if you fancy having eight beers for free, totally for free, use those codes and why not try and get one of these um, one of these lovely boxes? I usually get ten beers, but the, that's because uh, I've gone for the next level up. Um, usually the bog standard one is eight beers. I think it's 20, 24 quid. And I pay 28 quid for eight, uh, for 10 beers. Who knows? But anyway, should you wish to, dear viewer, box of beer totally for free. Why not? Um, right. The next thing is... We've had these before. We have love corn, uh, and these are 
uh, cheese and onion flavoured corn snacks, and sarochis, sesame flavoured Italian snacks. Come on. Oh, it's like having a bit of a snack, especially when you're drinking beer. Having a wee snack it makes sense, doesn't it? Right. Let us dive in. So these ones are Celtic beers. So theoretically, it should be Irish and Scottish, but maybe there's a couple of Welsh ones in which technically aren't Celtic, but never mind. Maybe some from Cornwall. We shall see. Okay. So first one, there we go. Canines Brewing by Numbers. Uh, and where are they from? I, I forget these things. It will say, dear viewer, on the back there, uh, English Pale Ale, Munich Style, etc, etc, etc. There we go. So a nice Pale Ale. Next one we have is Capo, which is something you put on a guitar usually. Can you read that? I can't. What does that say? Flower horn. Come on. And that is a citra pay now. So that can go over on that side. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Oh, we got a dark beard. Jacob's Land Brewery. Oh, I don't think I've heard of those before. Uh, Thank Reality Porter. Um, so that's pretty cool. Dark beers can start over on this side. I like to separate my beers into dark beers and light beers. What have we got here? Another dark one. This is a stout. And that looks like a proper Scottish. Oh no. Oh brother. That's Irish, I think. Chocolate oatmeal stout. Heart. Sorry, dark of heartness. Play on words with, um, is it Milton? The heart of darkness. There we go. Which, of course, became Apocalypse Now in movie form. But you should read the, um, you should read the original story, which is pretty good. About Africa and imperialism and all that kind of nonsense. Oh, we got another one from Jacob's Land. This one is a pale ale, Supernatural, uh, Jacob's Land Brewery. Where are these guys from? Mm. Oh, some of these things are so hard to read. Don't know. We'll work it out. Where was the other one? Uh, so that one should pair up. Let's put that in the middle. Because one's a dark beer and one's a light beer. But they're from the same brewery. What have we got here? Black Isle. So this one's definitely a Scottish beer because I've heard of them before. Organic Light Ale. And that is all they say really, apart from the gump from the back, which says Chinook, does it say? It doesn't say, does it? Just says they're, uh, they're amazing basically. Uh, which they all say, really. Uh, but that is a Scottish beer. And it's a light ale, so it goes on that side. <laughs> Tiny Rebel. There we go. Don't need to worry about that. Just Haze, Hazy IPA. Tiny Rebel are obviously from Wales, boy, oh, isn't it? Is it, brothers? Aloha or Aloha, another Scottish beer. You can probably tell from those on there. Uh, Scottish Pale Ale, Aloha Gold. <coughs> Boom. So these, the rest of these must be dark beers. So it should have some dark ones and some light ones. Wow, Mordu. Um, Welsh stout. There we go, another dark one. And how many have we got? One or two? No, one more. <laughs> B 
base beer, Scottish export. I don't know if that can do up there, but it's an 80 shilling this beer. Um, from base beer. So that's another dark one. <coughs> so we've got four, four dark ones and six pails. <laughs> Gonna have fun with those. I will get round to reviewing them all. Don't worry, dear viewer. And there we go. That is the Celtic nations. Um, I don't know if I'd describe Wales as Celtic, really. Um, but you know, you got to kind of link them together somehow. Really, really nice magazine. Lots of good articles with. I sorely miss. The, uh, the tasting notes being actually in the magazine itself. But maybe that's me, dear viewer. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you real soon for more beer reviews on Uncle John's Beer Review Channel. <laughs> Take care, guys. And we'll see you real soon.